Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today with us we are having a game on Orsha East pitting 78 Storm versus Bezu Glogo. Let's go take a look at the deck. Alright and so here we have Vonke, Führer Vonke, who um, is playing on a Vanguard income with BA10. With DBA10 is what I meant. And... Um, He's going there with a T70 Razvedka, Razvedkas, T34 70 Razvedkas, and then it'd be face Razvedkas with the famous bazookas that they have. It is an overall, it's a pretty good bazooka squad. They have exceptional stealth, SVT's 40s, and so they can actually quite hide themselves and pack a punch when discovered that being said they need to be supported because they're oh that's a weird bazooka placement because they won't do good just on the on their own but they are an excellent squad to have and they can do quite a damage oh they are coming with the uh, half track here i love seeing that half track with the soviets and the german on it like it was hastily 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 captured all right Chernos, which aren't very good nowadays, but they are still 15 points for for a squad. They are used like uh, meat grinders, basically. Bezook Logo doesn't have a lot of infantry, so it can be good to use these guys. Sorry, sorry there for the distraction. I had to change the song because guess what? The Ride of the Valkyrie song that was playing just now, um, <laughs> it's if you if you use it on YouTube, it will be copyrighted by Russia, which actually doesn't change much other than Russians can't watch your video. But the funny thing is YouTube actually distribute the songs, but there's no way of knowing who made the song, right? Which orchestra? Was it the so the Russians? Was it Budapest? You know the Ungarians, uh, which is public domain, by the way. So there's <laughs> there's no way of knowing, and they have the goal of actually putting a copyright um, on that. But since we're I'm not I, we're not at war with Russia, but we kind of are. Well, then YouTube simply doesn't care about Russia, and they'll just say Russians can't watch your videos. Otherwise, doesn't change a thing. But you know, whatever. All right, let's get into the game here. So <laughs> he's going to come with Saperis coming in with the uh, armored Shrafniki, Strelki DP coming in with the 12.7 millimeter half track, and then in B face he's going with some Strelki, double star Aftos, and one star Shrafniki. I am not a fan of his setup. Plus, if you're going to take Afto Machiki. Why not take the Tanko de Santniki, which are infinitely better? Of course, you only get 11 of them, but if you just put them one star, you do get 12. Um, I'm guessing maybe, yeah, because they don't have the transport. It's important to check for the transport because you should use the Studebaker for the Saperis. It doesn't change the thing in A phase. And then, do you have enough now? You, you only have seven of these? Where is he using these? He's using them over here? No. He's using them here. So you got to remove this. Oh, you can bring the Zistri with the, the Ganomag. This is quite interesting. And I would personally go with that myself. Because I like special units. Um, but there you go. Now you should have enough. Now you're still missing two somewhere. Does he... Oh, and there you go. The two missing. And then you would go with this. And then you can take the tankos. Like this. This would be, in my opinion, a better choice. Um, since they have the Molotov cocktail, they're, they're actually quite good. And not a lot of people do that because it's not really cost efficient and whatever. But you can actually refuel your molotov and your your special weapon you can refuel that with uh supply trucks with infantry so i mean it can be good 
um, if you do that. Also, seeing as you got so much low count of infantry, I would not vet these guys. Um, I would go for the tree squad more. And uh, what else would I do? I would probably take the Strauchy SVT over the Chernos. But it's true that you do need you do need a lot of infantry here. And these guys, they, they do have 18. But if it was me on a Vanguard income, I'd probably go... This starts to make sense, and uh, this is this is what I would go with. I know this is a Vanguard deck, but even if you play Vanguard, you can get stuck in a long game, and it's important to have something to resist with. So, like the infantry is not the best, but you don't have a lot, so might as well take the Strelki. And with having these twenty-seven Strelki, you can actually remove the Chernos. And get these guys. So you have Sis Dozit. You've got 18 infantry of good infantry. Good and cheap. They don't cost a lot. Rather than 18 disheartened. The Chernos, let's be honest, they're not the best disheartened unit. All right. They only have nine Mosin Nagan and, well, one PPSH. So this would be, in my opinion, a much better deck for Vanguard in terms of infantry. Let's keep going. He's got one star, T-34, 76. These guys really need to be double vetted. And then he's got the Tigers. And, like, these guys should probably be one vetted as well. He's got more T-34, 76 in B face. Uh, and double star, T-34, 76. In B face, you can probably allow yourself to go one star. Uh, but in A face, it's important your stuff kills and survives. So I would go for even you get I would go for these guys in A phase. There you go. This is what I would do. Not that anyone asked what I would do, but this is <laughs> this is what I would do. And you can even get these guys in C phase if you want, which is great. But you you are playing a Vanguard deck after all, you know. So get these guys. Remove that leader. This is like uh, two more points to you. You already have two leaders here. Personally, though, I would probably put that leader in B face, but whatever. Um, there's not much reason to get four tank leaders in this deck. You've already got the Zenart here, double star. You've got one star SU-76s, which is fine. Um, I'd probably go for a two star myself like this. And honestly, I'd probably go like that. Well, this is my balance type gameplay, but yeah, this is good. This is good. You do have a Nashorn. I mean, Panzer Strikes are really important, but when you're playing on a Maverick income, you'd probably want that Nashorn, is what I'm thinking. Probably take these M42s with half tracks as well, just because that's extra infantry somewhat. It extra support for your infantry for sure. Uh, he's going here with Maxim OB25 and SU122. Definitely, definitely want these Ognomichiki to capture flags early and get there before your infantry arrives. Um, he's going with well, we've seen this. Um, I've changed it now. <laughs> Um, and you've got the history with the Gano Mag, which is awesome. And then he's going here with, oh boy, with the Zenart 37 mil. But they're coming with the Zis 42, which is all kind of wrong. You want these guys with, there you go. If you're going to take these guys, take them with the Studebaker. And then this is good. Although one star is a little bit wasted, I would say go with it. Two, uh, with four units and ZSU I would say I mean ZSU are really good on their own they don't really need that one star you kind of need 
you you need quantity if you're going with the Vanguard income here. Um, artillery. In my opinion, you have too much here. He's going with three SU seventy six and six in B. They could be used for AP though. That's true. They have twenty sh AP shells, so that could be used for more tanks. Um. It's fine. It's fine. And then you got the IL-2 with the IL-2M, the A-20C Boston and B-Face with the IL-2 clusters. Nothing wrong with all of that. And that is his deck, but that's actually my modified version of his deck. Let's go take a look at his deck one last time. His original. And there it is. That's the original deck. All right, let's go take a look at his enemies. And there he is, playing on a balance income. He's going with Avkla and the Jeep, unvetted too. And uh, I mean, okay. Panzer T26, these are, in my opinion, a must when playing 78 Storm. I, the the, the Avkla can be explained um, being unvetted here because you don't have a lot of choices. This is your only one, so you want to have four of them. Personally, though, I would probably bring them double vetted with this in B phase. That way you have eight double vetted recon, which is better than four unvetted, in my opinion. And you don't really need of Clara and A phase. I mean, they're, they're, they're nice to have if you can, but they're not that needed, especially if you play on a balanced income. Um, he's double vetting is Pioneer Führer. Big no. He's... Going with Storm Pioneers, Pioneers. He's he's vetting them. I mean, I've seen a lot of people vet their Pioneers. I question that choice when the Pioneers are a regular infantry. Um, of course, you're only losing one, so it's not the end of the world. This is not a bad choice. It's just not one I would make myself. Uh, one star shoots and and uh, two cards of them, which is great. Then he's got more Pioneers in B face, more shoots and one star, and then in the end he's got shoots and. Unvetted. This is overall a very good deck, but <laughs> you're playing 78 Storm and you don't have any Storm shoot sense. You don't have the Big Light Pioneer that can come with a half track. So, I mean, it's fine if he has a plan in mind, but Jesus Christ, you want to take those Storm shoot sense. Storm shoot sense, one star with shoot sense, one star. Put these guys to three star. And you've got one hell of a combo. Uh, you don't need these pioneers really. So I'll change that deck. We'll we'll take a look at the entire deck and then I'll change it after. Um, but yeah, one star Stug. This is really bad, but he does have you know veterancy here with them, um, so he can get them to two star. There is no commander actually, so he can't get these guys to three star, and can get these guys to three star either. So it's actually pretty bad. Uh, well, two stars, no, two stars, two trees are fine. They're they're great. One star, they're not so great. So he needs to make sure to put these leaders with flamers. IG eighteen, MG forty two. Well, sorry, MG forty two. This is the trifecta of opening. You don't need anyway. Opel Blitz, IG thirty three, and B face one star. Strange. Panzer Shrek, Panzer Bush. Martyr 2, 1 star, 2 cards in the deck. Pack 40, Nashorn. This is a really, 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 really bad anti-tank tab, especially for Savage Tomb and especially for a balanced player. Then you've got the Flak 43, 1 in A, 1 in B, with Flak 88 coming in, 1 star in B. This is not bad, but you don't need 1 star Flak 88. Then... <laughs> He's got two cards of 81 mil double star. One card of 105 mil coming in RSO. Why? It's like the slowest truck. If you look here, 30 kilometers an hour. This guy go at 53. And you've got the 150 mil, two of them in B phase. There is no ammo, mind you, except for that Opal Blitz. And then you've got the BF-09 J6R6. Why not? I mean, they are 
extremely good strafers. So I would I usually don't get fighters, but these can be the exception here. The JU 188 in A phase and then one in B phase. Not bad overall. But uh, the deck overall is extremely bad. Now take a last picture of that because now we're going to change it to my likings. Alright, so I would go definitely because remember he's playing on a balanced income. So you want Alfara for the, your entire game. The T26 is very good to counter uh, recon car spam from the enemy. You don't want... Let's Actually, let's delete all of this because this is bad. Um, if you want absolute lead leaderships in A phase, that's fine. You are playing on a balanced income, though. You don't need that. Okay, so Schutzen, one star, one star. You may go one star there as well because 70 assume will be mostly the support doing the fight for you. And then you want to get Storm Schutzen, Storm Schutzen, Storm Schutzen. You could go with these guys unvetted for numbers. That is something you can do. And then you'd probably want the leaders coming in B phase and possibly even one in C. Yes, I've said it. All right. This is a good tactic with Storm, with the 78 Storm. You don't have a lot of infantry for A phase though. This is something I can manage, but probably not everyone. So let's remove this. And you could put the Bevarang, but in my opinion, these perform really poor. That's just me. You could get these guys with the half track. This will help your survivability in B phase. Then this is all kind of wrongs too. You want two stars to all the way. There you go. So now you got three in A, three in B, nine in C. This will be good for the long term survival. Um, this is actually very good, but the IG 18, you don't need to vet this at all. You don't need to vet the IG-33 at all either. And actually, you don't want them coming with the RSO. So you want this. You could keep that Opal Blitz there, but we might remove it later and you'll see why soon. The Panzer Shrek, always good. Panzer Bush, well, in, in 78 Tomb is a good idea because they can counter Recon Spam. And you really need that in 78 Tomb. But uh, coming with the Ketan Cad, that's just really bad. You take them... Six of them in A phase. Remove those martyr. Remove this. Remove this. Now, what you want, most likely, we've got 44, cat, 5, 6, 7, 8, this. So we've got four cards. Well, you definitely want some Nashorns. That's a given. You want these guys. Um, you definitely want pack 40s. And there you go. Time to remove that Opel Blitz. And then... Then you have the choice here. You could also get the Ver Vernichtung uh, Panzer Shrek. But their stealth is very good, whereas these Panzer Shrek stealth is exceptional. So these are better to hide on return fire and get your enemy. These are better to survive the encounter with the enemy. So it's it's uh, it's your choice, really. You could even get these Vernichtung in A phase and then come in with Panzer Shrek in B phase. No one expects a B face card of Panzer Shrek, so this control your opponent um, of balance. But if you want to keep those Panzer Shrek, do it. And then you need some kind of spam unit. You could use unvetted Martyr 2s to do that. They have 55% accuracy and an 8 round per minute rate of fire, which is great. And you also got the leaders here. And if it was me playing the game, I'd put a C face card of, of leaders we might do it later if we find something else we can remove now in the air department you definitely want to do something about that um, and even you know what I'm thinking we could remove that pack 40 and B phase and get it in C and this adds to your longevity of course you need to be good with a phase with your tank IG 18 and Panzer Bush I am Good enough for to survive these encounters, so so that's why I built my decks like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so over here, eh, it's okay. Um, you could get three of these, four of these, and then you can get this guy coming in with ammo trucks. 
and that's why we removed the ammo trucks here. You do get them with the Flak 88, plus you get a Flak 88 with it. So, I mean, why not? Over here, this is bad. This is all kind of bad. First of all, if you don't take the Nebel Werfers with the RSO munition trucks, who are you to play 78 Storm? No one. That's who. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you definitely have to go with the... Are the RSO munition get 5,000 more ammo. And honestly, people are like, oh yeah, but they're slower than the multi trucks. True. <laughs> but from how much? 8 kilometers more on the road you get from the multi ammunition. And off-road, you actually quicker with the RSO munition. So you're actually, like your Nebel Werfers, you're not going to unload them on the road. So you better take the RSO munition truck and you know, get more speed and more ammo with it. And of course, yeah, the RSO will will clap back at the um, Nebel Werfers slower, maybe. But I mean, that's no reason. You shoot, you recouple, you go elsewhere. I mean, I do it all the time. It's perfectly manageable. And then, me personally, I would do without Mortars and A-Face. And then I would just add these guys with the RSO munition too. That's honestly all you need. And then there you go. If you want your leader in A face, you can. If you want in C face, which I will want in C face, you can. What else? Over here. Remove this. Ah, just keep these guys. Like, do you really need bombers when you've got all of these? No, you don't. Plus your bombers are probably going to die. It's 135 points. Just Put it in the Nebel Werfers, you're good to go. Now we've got five more points. We can get more infantry. That's the thing. You want to check for these things. You could get the Paglide Pioneers as well. They are excellent, excellent infantry. Uh, but really, there's no point. Just get more shoots in, in C face. You can get them one star, or these can be your emergency 27 unvetted shoots in. And then you still got 48 points. You can do a lot here, like adding a much needed commander. So why do you get all these leaderships, right? If you don't have a commander. Now you can get every single one of your infantry to three star, except for these cards of emergency infantry. You can get your flak to two star. There's a lot you can do here. We could even be thinking, uh, oh, wait, we don't even need that flak 81 anymore. That's like 88 because these Nebel Furfers coming in with ammo, these 150 mil coming in with ammo, technically you're good for a 15 minute game. You could had you could had more supply trucks if you're aiming for that 70 minute game. All right, but th that's a, th I would probably do that personally, but this is rather useless. You could get. More machine gun. Basically, you can get anything you want. This is your choice. You could get just some Flak 88. Coming in in C-Face. Uh, just for extra um, extra punch. You could get... Either air, artillery, or support, or an airplane. If you really feel like you could get some recon you could get these guys in c face just for more hoomph there's there's a lot you can do here what would i do personally um i would probably go with the opal blitz ammo truck and that is because i often run out of munition with my with my Nebel Werfers because I shoot them constantly. Like, I'm on top of my shit for that, and so I often run out of ammo. So this would be a 70 Stoom Dex that makes sense. It will be rough in A phase for most, I agree, but you do have Panzer Shrek, you, you got the Panzer Bush, you got Tree Stug, and a Commander if really you're in deep trouble. You got the T26s, I mean... You're good. You could unvet these guys and get them to two star. But honestly, these guys, three star, they'll just, you, you won't need anything else really. And, um, yeah. 
this would be the deck. But anyway, this is not my deck. And so let's go take a last look at the enemy's deck. Uh, where is it? Here. So this is the deck he decided to go with. And uh, let's see what he can do with it. By the way, guys, this game has been part of someone asking me to do it on my Patreon. He's taken the journalist and is having me casting his game. And you can also get all my videos as ads free here um, for five bucks US, I believe, and uh, per month. And I post them all over here. Sometimes I'll put different titles <laughs> and thumbnails too for my own fun. But all my videos will be here earlier than on YouTube. I've just started that. So if you don't want ads in your videos, you can go there and support me at the same time. Totally your choice. And there you go. We have the game going on with uh, Fever Vanke in the bl in the red corner, sorry, and uh, Freak in the blue corner. Now, this is not the greatest map for 7-8's Tomb. Let's just say that straight away. And it would it is a good map for Bizu Glogo, but Fever Vanke is playing on a Vanguard income, so this could be a very dangerous game for him to be playing. He's coming with Shrafnik over here, which are rather slow. OB25 is good here. The shoot sense is not really good. Let's evaluate. Because I know these are uh, these are not the best opponents in the world. And I don't mean that uh, deroga derogatory, but I just want to use this as... Um, an opportunity to learn here. So we're starting with the IG-18 here. This is great. Probably better here though. So that it can make um, usage of its 1500 meter range. Over here. He can still do that. And shoot here. Which I suspect is the goal here. I have to assume this is the goal. Which is actually a very good goal. So this is good. MG-42 going there. This is great too. And Schutzen's going here. This is an excellent opening there. He's got Schutzen coming in over here and over here. I question this because you, he does have the Flamers. And you definitely want the Flamers coming in here before your opponent. Now he'll have to deal with that OB25. Probably won't be able to shoot uh, these guys coming in here. But these guys might die. And the Strafniki might unload just in time to start shooting. We'll see. Martyr 2 coming in here is a very weird decision. At least you put it here so that it can actually shoot something. But I bet he's going to come here and then maybe move here as needed, which could be good as well. Uh, Flamers and Panya Führer coming all over here is an excellent move from Freak. Uh, MG42 going here is the worst move ever possible but i'm betting he intends his flamers to do the job and to open up for his flamer uh, for his machine gun but even if you get the machine gun here what exactly are you what's the game plan here you you, you can only shoot at 250 meters or 500 so you will get killed pretty easily now go in the church and that way in the church you can actually shoot at units here you can get shoot back shot back though by by units so you could also just I don't know. I, I I wouldn't put a machine gun here. I'd probably unload that machine gun right here. That way it would be shooting at that M42 while the troops are advancing. For sure though, you can put some smoke with the flamers and that might be his game plan. But again, you, a, a machine gun, you don't want it here. He could be putting it there and planning to move forward with it. That's a possibility. All right. And in this case, it would be fine. Schutzen's coming in here and here, which is fine um panzer bush coming in here a little bit too close but then again he's planning on these flamers to do the job for him of cloud going in the church which is an excellent move ig18 unloading here which is good but you have all of your troops over here i want i mean it's a good decision he made but i wonder why he didn't move it forward like everybody else over here is going strong with the Pioneer Führer and the Flamers. This is scary. Pioneer Führer coming in before everyone. It's a bit scary to me. You never know what the enemy will bring. Um, a Stone Pioneer of Clara. Pioneers. Panzer Busch. Coming in here. 
Um, and I'll call it here. These are good choices. If it wasn't f from the deck, I I wouldn't think that this opponent might be um, lesser skilled. I don't want to say noob, even though for me noobs has no insults, whatever. Uh, but I know some people take offense that word, but um, yeah, I, I wouldn't think he'd be a noob if it wasn't from his... I decided to say the word, by the way. Fuck those who are getting offended by it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't think he'd be a noob had I not seen his deck. All right, this, this is a good aggressive deployment. And against a player that's playing a Vanguard income can be extremely good. I mean, these are the kinds of risky deployment you have to take sometimes to throw the enemy off balance. Now let's go take a look at Führer Wanke's deployment. Over here, coming in with the Saperi, with the armor trucks. He's, he's using the armor trucks to go here, which isn't bad in itself. And you can see here, no one can actually damage them, except that Spencer Bush. And that Bush will unload here, which might be too late for these guys to come in. Because look at that, it's coming in with the Kettenkran. And this is slower vehicles than he could have come with. So, yeah. So that, that's all right. That's fine. Strafniki coming in here is really bad. The Chernos coming in is really bad. Uh, he's got these guys attacking here. That's fine. And the T-70 Razveka as well. So this is an aggressive push. Of course, he's playing on a Vanguard income. But it's a risky one. And you don't want to do too many risky uh, deployments with Vanguard income. Over here, unloading the M42 first is really bad. And then you've got these slow Chernos and the Strashniki coming in here. These guys are slow compared to what the enemy can bring. Like, you you, you absolutely have to come in with flame, Flamers to capture your decks early. Then you've got T-70s and BA-10, which is fine. Um, OB-25 here is fine. Strafniki is slow, but it's fine, I guess. But a Flamer here would have been much better. Machine gun, Maxim machine gun is good, but seeing as it got 1k range, I would have liked to see it maybe just a little bit, just a little bit here, so it can shoot here if he needs to. Strelke DP half track coming in here is fine. Chernos coming in slow there is not fine, and these guys coming in here is fine. But the problem with this opening is that you are very slow. And you are spread out all over the place, which is very dangerous for a Vanguard deck. You definitely, definitely want to do one focus point of attack with Vanguard. So, I mean, this was my analysis on the deployment. Of course, I'm not in the player's head, so I cannot... So, I mean, this is to take with a grain of salt. And, I mean, I love doing risky opening myself, so I'm not bitching here. I'm just saying the facts, <laughs> okay? All right, let's get back into playing that game. Yeah, M42 will be struggling there. Flamer unloads. He unloaded these guys before, which is strange because he could have just put some smoke here and get everyone to move in. Flamer also will unload here, which this is better. Uh, he's got these guys to two star. Would have been great with a commander, and these guys would have been three star. Over here, Führer Vanke is, I would say, in a lot of trouble. But these stone Piners are actually going forward with the attack, and same thing with these. So they will die easily there. Should have definitely went back into the forest. He's Pioneer Führer is also in big trouble. These guys are not falling back, unfortunately. And now you've got these monster trucks coming in so uh, this is actually really bad what's going on and it should have been good had he unloaded here the flamers here and kept this flag uh, and and the panzer bush around here to shoot at these guys so really unfortunate push here um he's <laughs> 16 8 for him over here and Führer Wanke is bringing just t70 razvetka it's it's not a He's not a big push because he doesn't have much. Should have definitely went in the middle to shoot these guys. And now he's coming in here, putting himself in danger. Um, oh, Penzo Bush is still here. These guys are not retreating. No smoke is being put from the Flamers, which is bad. Like, he could escape all of this with just throwing smoke from this guy and this guy as well. He's not using his Tug in the distance. He could get in deep trouble by these guys outmaneuvering him, basically. 
over here he has lost unfortunately we well, we haven't seen how that happened but the ob25 and the shashniki is obviously to blame here t su 122 doing some work on these shoot zones martyr 2 will shoot at the shafniki there's some t26 panzer coming in stoop tree and shoot zones also coming in there's il2 from Firavanke who didn't shoot his load for for some reason i don't know why um but there you go Firavanke is actually pushing through to get the Stug, which is dangerous, but that SU-122 can definitely kill that Stug. The problem here is there is no recon for Freak. And now this guy will die unless he unloads. There you go. Oh, there you go. Now they start shooting. Oof. Oof. That heat round is coming. First shot. Oh, he's getting suppressed here. This is not good at all. Second shot. Kill this. Kill oh, this is starting to get good now. Shooter knocked out 9 seconds. This is bad. BA-10 could probably do some potential damage. I mean, it's unlikely, but still. They're bouncing so far. I think he's safe now. There you go. Should kill it. There you go. Oh, no. This is pretty bad. Uh, but there is a pack 40 coming in. Should come in here. There's people here. He's still, you know, he's still 59 right now. And since Führer is only coming in with recon cars, he's not capping. But there's a Shrafniki going really dangerously forward. Flag taken back here. Martyr plus two going to take out these guys. Unfortunately shooting with uh, APCR, but whatever. This tree, really forward. Really dangerous. Really dangerous. The T26 finally arrived. We'll do some work on these. Stug survive his encounter. Looks like he might have gotten... A little bit damage. He might have got some side shots there. And Shrafniki might have shot it too with the PTR uh, rifle. These guys will maneuver around the T-70. The Avclara can definitely see it. This is his time for moving forward. Two star shoots and three will have been better against the Shraf. Oh, that Stug is in dangerous position there. I mean, side shot can definitely damage him. There you go. Schutzens should be fine. They are two star, but you know, the Schrafniki is a squad, is a beefy squad, you know. Flamer taking out the Schrafniki. Schutzens shooting the machine gun to them. There you go. Gets the surrender. Oh, bouncing, getting some rear shots. Oh, and there you go. The Schrafniki. He knew it was there. He knew it was there. And he decided to show his rear still. Anyway, this one has been taken care of. Now is the time to move these T-70s around here and shoot incoming reinforcement. Shoots and coming in. Stug tree coming in. IG-18, Pack 40 Stone Pioneers. Really good reinforcement to call once you once you got this hill. Avclara coming in here as well. Not moving though, but it is a very good call to make. He definitely either needs to send reinforcement around here. Or get them here and move forward because so far he owns it. But the IL-2 coming in for the kill on this Flamer. And uh, now this will open up to Führer Vanke. 18-6 currently. There you go. The Strafniki being pushed. Sugtri technically he should really... He's, he sees what's coming. He should really take advantage and come here. Especially with the recon. That T-34-76 is not going to see them for a while. Um, there you go, Flamer coming down, <laughs> but Freak still controls all of this, that guy's still alive, still 16-8 over here, the Stug died some, oh yeah, that's this tree, uh, he, he's lacking recon around here, and since he only had three recon, he's already done, oh wait, does he not have a fourth one, and T-70 takes care of the Martyr 2. So now we're getting in really dangerous ground. Plus there's a T6 Tiger coming in. Oh, that is a dangerous position. But yes, keep moving it forward. With the proper support, you need infantry around here. Move that shoot sense around here would be good. Um, are these the T... The, no, he's shooting at them, unfortunately. Flag 43, really good call. I'm just seeing a lot of good calls around here. IL-2 will unfortunately take out the Spencer T-26. There is still one alive. Oh, there you go. That Cherno will 
now remove this shoot sensor being called in there is some support over here which is good shoot sensor will be unloading here which is uh not really what you want oh boy tried to get the kill with the shoot sensor it was really good there you go falling back that's great this is a mechanic that not going to work anymore soon pack 40 using the apcr is very bad Especially against T34, you don't need that. Could need it against the Tiger, but not really. Pack 40 can do a lot of damage with the AP 145 mil to be exact. Um, and the, the Tiger only has 125, so... IL-2 coming in, but now there is Flak 1 star, which will take care of that. Might not kill it, but definitely will be good. It would be great to have some veterancy. Does he have... Imagine if he had a commander. This would be to 3 star or 2. These would be to true in three star. Uh, it's just such shame, such, such a shame. These guys unloading. We'll start shooting that Zis tree, which is great. Now he's getting more and got the pack 40 to shoot some HE, but he's only got six shells, so he needs something else to come with him. He's still capturing these like things to the shoots and 1311 now for freak as he captures this entire area. Shootsons will just die. This was a bad call, uh, especially when you're being overrun by armor. An anti tank, and a tiger coming in here. That pack 40 will take it out, no problem. APCR bouncing. Driver knocked out. It's doing crit, but it's not destroying it. Without the APCR, he would have destroyed it in two, three shots. Now he's just bouncing them. APCR is needed when. Oh god. But penetrated that tiger though. Really? Bouncing at that distance? This is 1500 meter. Come on. There you go. Kills it. And there you go. AG18 advanced. <laughs> Was on the attack move on the Strafniki. There you go. Now the T26 can start shooting at these guys. Very good. 12 12 though for Führer Vonke. But it doesn't matter. Because um, a freak just needs to get some time. And all he needs here is uh, is a Nashorn, really. Oh, he's calling in these famous 81 mil mortar double star. Why, 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 why? You don't need that. You just need a couple of infantry here. You've got this. Come on. Oh, no. He, he, he pressed the fallback button, but too late. He died. Now he should definitely get another pack 40. SU-76, this is the uh, artillery variant. We'll start shooting at the Schutzen. Over here, that T-70, Razvedka, still doing some damage. Schutzens will get destroyed by these. Why is there no... Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Why is there no Nashorn or anything like that coming in to deal with these incursions? Stug should have definitely come in here. Oh my god, he already has the middle. Um, a lot of infantry from Führer Vanke coming in here, and they will be unopposed because... Oh, no. A Kettenkrad fucking Panzerbuch coming in as slow as it could. We'll probably get killed from the T-70 because it's meant to unload here, unfortunately. This is just a series of bad decisions here in the north. In the south, sorry. Over here, we're, we're getting the hang. There's 81 mil mortars. Could put some smoke here and get some infantry to move in. There is still this tree, so that Stug is in danger. SU-76, 80 variants coming in now. <sighs> Waste of mortar here. Took tree, shoots and he's just letting go his entire south. And this is so bad because he's playing on a balance income. He needs to defend a little bit. Now he's being pushed. And there you go. There's even people coming in here. Oh, this will completely destroy his middle grounds. He, he completely has the advantage here. So he, he, he should have brought more and more reinforcement t26 stug is fine but there is a tiger here which is very dangerous 
And right now, there's only infantry coming in here, which could... Well, the T-26 does have recon, so that's good. And uh, last recon coming in here, and why? Because there's already one over here. So this is a strange move. Over here would have made a whole lot of sense. Even here, and un and unload on that road, you know? Here would, here would have been good. Anyway, IL-2 dropping his bomb on that Schutzen. Kind of missing target, but still. Pioneer not doing anything. Stug tree coming in in close proximity of that Zis tree. 81 Mortar will get a Ds, which is good. Half Para getting shot at by the Saperi. We'll have to unload. I guess not. Yes, we'll have to unload. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunately for him, these were Saperis. He will get to... These These guys could unload on that stew right now. Oh. That's a missed opportunity right here. Um, but <laughs> Tiger is going for it. And the Zistri as well. Oh, Zistri is shooting HE over here. There you go. Side shot. Will turn, but will all die now. They will all die to that tiger. Why, why, why? Not now. You can't anymore, unfortunately. But a Nash on here would have been all he needed, really. Stug dead. These guys are going to die too. I mean, there's no way. Anyway, Aftos coming in over here. T70 Razvedka, there's another Stug. He's he's good to call Stug. These are Stug one star. They're not going to perform really good anyway. Two star here gets better. St get took care of the entire row here. There is no recon for Firavanke, so it's it's pretty bad. But 10 14 for 14 10 for Firavanke currently. These Stugs are coming in here in the middle. Oh god, he needs to take care of this T6 Tiger. He has a J. He has some bombers too. He definitely would need some bombers. These bombers take, can take care of the of tanks. And there is no AA for Führer Vanke. Some bombers would have forced him to spend some point against Führer Vanke. Stug will take care, obviously, of the BA-10s. As soon as they did that, well, yeah, now there's anti-tank coming in. These could be very dangerous to the Stugs, especially there's no recon there. There you go. BA-10. Die. Saperi. The Stone Pioneer is coming in. We'll finally get back this flag a little bit. There is a Panzer Shrek coming in here. These are such a, a strange decision, these orders. Why are you unloading here? <laughs> you unload here or here, and then, you know, you move to target. These are dangerous moves that any uh, good player will probably kill you for that. T-34-76, SU-76, a lot of reinforcement coming in. M-42 unloaded here instead of hiding in the forest, which is really bad. Um, there you go. Dies. Shoot sense are coming in. Unloaded very far. Now they will get... They're getting shot at by the T-34... Oh, no. Unload, 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 unload. There you go. Did unload. That's good. Aftos over here. Really dangerous. And he's compl he's lost the ability to spawn over here, unfortunately. And uh, this will really, really hurt him bad. He needs to move these guys around. But now there they are T-34-76 here. He's, he's really not caring about his south. 13-11 for him, though. Like, I would get it if he'd push to the enemy spawn around here. Which he, he totally could. Um... But he's not doing that. He could even use this road to come in here and, and and stop the capping by having one infantry here, one infantry here, one infantry here. You just put a bunch of infantry all around here and, and you defend, you know. That would prompt Firavanke to maybe come back or I don't know. But there's all these units coming in for the wood. Oh, God. Okay. He's not seeing that. Stug, Stug almost died there. Stone Pioneer moving in the open, not using their smoke. They have smoke right here. Use them, okay? It's called B, and you throw it. B on the keyboard is the shortcut. IL-2 coming in for these two, which is a great move from Firavanke. Also takes down these Pioneers at the same time. Did miss the target on the Stug, but slows down 
the reinforcement incredibly. I'm surprised these guys survive that much. Are they actually going to win? No, unfortunately. IL-2 still roaming. is going to uh, go away now. We're still not seeing anything here. No reaction whatsoever. It happens. I mean, it did happen to me too in, um, in my recent tournament game. So... I guess, you know, I guess it can happen. <laughs> but I just find it weird because with 70, it's too... They, they, they could have been one Nash run here. Oh, God. Side shots from the M42s. He's still moving forward. It. Oh, God, no. This player will lose the game, for sure. 14-10 for Führer Vanke. Shooter knocked out on that Stug. There you go. Now he's reacting to it, but too little, too late. That M42 could take them out too. He's, he's not... I don't know. Fura is coming in with troops around here. He might just bring them here and then we'll get them over here. Or he might come in here and we'll start shooting at the side of these guys. Pack 40 is starting to die from that SU-76. Oh, and he's shooting HE behind. Stug 3 is doing the job. Definitely should move in and kill that SU-76. It's killing its Pack 40 slowly but surely. Oh no, the martyr actually... Wow, 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 wow. He... He did get it though, but these aftos are extremely dangerous. Pioneer should win that engagement, no problem. There you go. Now you retreat, fall back. You don't need them to stand there anymore and get more damage. Wow, they actually not even suppress completely. He's going to move with the Pioneer and die because now he's not going to be able to throw his, um, his TNT. You don't want to do that with Pioneers. You throw the TNT, you fall back, you bring another Pioneer. To, to the work. Aftos will get the... Oh, no. But but we'll get it. Might get the surrender there. We'll kill them. No doubt. Just now there's a lot of infantry coming in here. He can allow... He can afford to do that because there's nothing done here. These guys were unloaded by the pack uh, uh, M42. The pioneers are now coming in here. As soon as this is open, bam! Nashorn. Nashorn could be dangerous though because... Well, Nashorn with another unit. Stugs are going the long way home. Are going to drive this entire front line now. And here they are passing us by. It's just going to take a very long time for them to get there. Anyway, back to the game. Now they are starting to shoot at the Strafniki, unfortunately. Like, it, it stops the them. They're dead in their track. Oh, there you go. We finally have something there. The Tiger showing his back there. Oh, he only needs an infantry unit here. Oh, my lord. This is the opportunity of a, of a lifetime. Please take advantage of it. He is being swamped by the Strafniki, which did came here to go here. Everyone, every infantry died. Stug will die from the Strafniki. Oh, God. IL-2 is now the air is starting to really spam. They're going to take that shoot sense. He's, uh, I, oh, my God. Here he comes. At least now he's facing forward. Shusens also start shooting at them. There you go. He did call Stu when he could have just called in a Shutsen, but whatever, right? Because these Stugs are just going to continuously die from the Zistri. It hurts my soul that he's moving them, showing his side, instead of protruding just a little bit. And there you go. Dies from the M42. This is so frustrating. This is very frustrating. He's calling more tanks when they just keep dying and dying to these ATs. 
and you do he has ig 33s could just unload it here and 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 walk through and this is definitely what he should have needed to to do there il2s just keep coming where's the anti-air where's those bf 109 that he needs so much right now Martyr trees, Martyr 2 is being used for their HEs. Oh, God. These guys are just waiting for more victim like that. Jesus Christ almighty. And there you go. They're starting to answer. Look at that front line. Look at that. <laughs> Look at <laughs> that. Doesn't make any sense. There's no reinforcement coming in here. He could move with a couple of infantry units. You unload one here. You unload one here. You start to slowly try to get back the f the, 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 the flags, you know. There's a Zistry here, but with infantry, could be absolutely taken care of. Finally, that IG-33 is coming, but too late because that Zistry now has access. Oh, does he see it? All right, he does. At least there's that. He's still in danger, but it is a fair distance. If he would just start shooting at these smart... Well, there you go. Now he's dead. All right. Shoots and coming in. But these guys, unvetted, will not deal with the Strafniki. Now, this guy will turn... No. Okay, he's facing the right direction. We'll take care of that Strafniki. Most likely, but there is these guys coming in from behind. Oh, he's he's leaving. All right, he's leaving. All right. T34 coming in. We'll kill everyone in here if he has the chance. These famous 81 millimeter mortar are not being resupplied. Why? Maybe that's why he's getting them two star because he's only getting a couple. IG33 a little bit useless now and should have come in way earlier. Even against the Tiger, it would have been good because he does 160 mil and the Tiger would have had to turn. It's really slow. Would have allowed this guy to shoot a couple rounds and then walk forward. It doesn't matter though. He is starting to reclaim the front line, 12-12. But why? Why is he not pushing here is the question here. Unless he is planning on actually using this road and, and, and cutting the line. This is something he could do. Where are those bombers to take care of this infantry? That's what he really needs right now. That Stug obviously died behind, I bet. No, from the front. These uh, cheap SU-76 and T-34 took the cake. Shoots us are, are uh, surprisingly... Doing good on the Strafniki. More shoots and coming in here. That's good. If he can unload here, here, and then here, he has a certain leverage there into uh, infantry coming in. And order to kill for from these uh, IL-2s. But now these IL-2s are unpunished. There is no more AA coming. Oh, no. What? What? What is this? What is this? Why is he doing that? And the plus are coming in with the RSO, which is the slowest transport available. Why is he calling in these artillery? Nice job there from that pioneer, but uh, unfortunately, you know, that Strelki DP coming in to finish it. And they might even get again because there's nothing going on here. So, uh, oh my god, Martyr 2 might crew kill. There you go, crew kill. He's bringing these Martyr 2 to CQC combat. He's unloaded these guys in the middle of nowhere instead of in the houses. Still KDP coming in with the half racks and the T-34-76 will take care of that. Finally, we're seeing the JU-88. Where is this guy going? Oh, yeah, it could be good against these. Oh, man, if it kills them. Oh, man. Oh, wow. 
it killed two of them, which is great. This is great, but imagine... Had he done this here, would have been a little bit more useful to him. These Martyr 2's gonna die. Oh my god, I can't believe he's that careless with tanks. This is why people lose their games, is they don't take care of their valuable units. They just throw them to the meat grinder, and they make the wrong call into calling units. It's a difficult... It's difficult to make these right calls, especially when you don't see what the enemy has. Um, so I'm, I'm not ripping into him, really. I'm just saying it. That's the reason. And we, we all make these mistakes because we don't see what the enemy has. But, I mean, there is just some things you don't do, like bring in IG-33 meters away from the front line. You just don't do that. That IG-33 would have been excellent had he spent some infantry here and an IG-33 in the open with a martyr to shoot long distance, this would have been most excellent. It's, it, that, that's the problem. Is he's bringing the reinforcement in the wrong places. These 105 mil will just die as soon as someone pushes over. Stug, martyr, could actually kill these guys. This would be a good move for him. He's Oh my lord, what is he doing with these 105 mil? Anyway, SU-76, dead. This is dangerous now. He's shooting his APCR, unfortunately. Stu dead now. That martyr should... He's still shooting at this. Now he's going to die next round, unless he gets shooter killed with the APCR. No, now he's dead. Yes. Uh, mortars who are not going to absolutely do nothing. MG42 who won't do anything. Now he's just making all the wrong calls. Everything he's doing now is wrong. Um, at least that M2A1 can... Yeah, Fira Vanke sees that. He's going to come back here and then maybe try to get back there. This is just so insane. Who are these guys even shooting at? Alright. That's good, but it's close. It's getting shot at by the Strafniki. Oh, no, these guys are being shot at. They took some serious damage there. Martyr 2 is called... Why? Why, why is it even... Why is this even necessary? He needs to get back this front line. Oh my lord. Oh, and this is done for. He's he's getting back this flag. He's never coming in here. Mm, this is hard to watch, my friends. It's hard to watch. Oh my lord. There you go. Finally, that's the right call to do. Getting... No, no, no. There you go. On the attack order. Oh, what are you doing? There you go. Almost too fast. But did kill it. There's another tiger coming in. Oh, no. He retreated that plane. This plane is so good at strafing. Could have definitely helped against any infantry. Could have killed that one straight. Could have killed anyone he sees. He could have killed... Oh, no, and that's the thing with 78's Tomb is you call three of these BF-109 and you use them as strafers and you will do absolute carnage with them. But, oh, my God. And there you go. He takes back the spawn. These, these, there, there's Nashorn here in the open doing God knows what. Mortar is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, it hurts my soul. 17-7. This was just a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> He's not even trying to get back here. He's just like rolling with it. I mean... Okay, so this content is brought by a Patreon member who wanted me to cast this game. And even though these are noobs games, 
they are wildly entertaining okay you gotta give it and it's fun to see how noobs game is going because we're so used to seeing what pro players do and and what uh, intermediate players you know like like players competitive players do and the meta and this is just so off meta and it's just so weird from both opponent and to me that their tactic is working <laughs> that one of them is working is just crazy to me you don't use tube in close quarter combat first of all what is going on here oh my god he has no he doesn't have ap oh there's that ju88 nice shot but completely useless now because that's too well not completely useless that's false but anyway oh my lord these skullskies are just on the move order no, they're on the attack order, but there's no one to stop them now. They're completely free to advance. I cannot believe this is happening. That Martyr Tree, using the APCR, will die to that T-34. I'll, I'd be surprised. The T-34 is unvetted, so it's taking him a long time. Dies. Okay. All right. But Jesus Christ, that was close. Now he's going forward. Going to be met by the M-42. Will die. There you go. Straight away. Why do that? Ah, uh, no, no, no. He's coming. Oh, and he surrenders. Oh, boy. 39 to 34. Not bad in terms of killing. Um, Yeah, this is a 38% victory ratio on Freak. It's not surprising, but definitely he has, he has the right... He has the right idea in most places. Um, But like I said... Uh, a series of unfortunate calls and a bad deck will lead to these unfortunate situation. It happens. And Fira Vanke badly played too. So, I mean, it was either one or the other. It's just Fira Vanke was extremely aggressive and he didn't let go of his flank. And, um, yeah. Shrafniki. Took care of a pack 40 and IG 18. Stook tree. Oh my god. M42, Flamers, Stone Pioneer, Schutzens. T70, Rosvetka. Took care of these guys. IL2s were just free. Tigers did not do great, but still. M42. Oh my god. Whoa. That M42. Oh my god. Let's just go to the next. Strafniki. Oh god. Oh my god. That is painful. That is painful. Alright. If Freak is watching that, he's welcome to join my clan so we can coach him a little bit better. And it's just simple mistakes that can easily be repaired. What's uh, oh we cannot see his profile because we're watching the game in his eyes, so that's unfortunate. Um, twelve twelve in rank though, so that's good. He's only got two hundred thirty four games. I mean, how good were you when you were playing two hundred thirty four games? You know, not good at all, and it's not it's nothing bad. I feel like the way he played, I feel like this player will go far if he keeps going, like that. Um. But yeah, he just needs basically he needs to watch the replay of this this game. And every game he loses, he needs to watch the replay and ask himself why did he lose? Why did he lose control there? And then just correct those mistakes. That's all he needs to do. I'm sure he'll do great stuff. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this battle. I sure did. And uh I will see you for another battle tomorrow. Most likely it will be the uh, campaign, the Eastern Front campaign in Steel Division 2, the multiplayer Eastern Front. If you want to see the videos early, you can on my Patreon and you can watch the, um, the videos without ads, as I've shown earlier. So no ads, 550 a month. It's not much. It's just to say, you know, 
and, and you can watch them before they unload on YouTube and with funny thumbnails sometimes but yeah anywho thanks everyone for watching have a great day goodbye